what is good everybody welcome back to the channel today i'm gonna show you how to make a simple yet oh so delicious cheesy garlic breadsticks guys these are off the hinges out of this world and takes no effort at all i'm about to show you how it's done if you're new to the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button rock that notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest video leave your boy a like as well as a comment let me know what you think and let's get started So to begin, we're just gonna dust up our pizza pan just like so. And I already have my oven preheated to 400 degrees, so it's ready to go. And yes, we are gonna be using this Pillsbury pizza crust. You can go and make some fresh dough if you feel like it, but yes, we are gonna keep it nice and simple, take a little bit of a shortcut and use this dough. I don't mind it at all. I find it actually pretty good. <laughs> I don't know if you tried it yourself, but it is not bad, guys, and we are going to elevate it, believe me. So go ahead and get it out of this can, just like show. Go ahead and uh, spread it out on your pan. And I want my bread to be, you know, have a little oomph to it, a little bit of fluffiness to it. So we're not gonna flatten it all the way completely where it fills uh, this pizza pan in its entirety. Uh, we're gonna kind of keep it to the size you see on the screen and we're gonna kind of just square off the edges Just like so cuz like I said, these are breadsticks. I don't want it to be round on the outside I Wanted to be nice and square. So that's how I did it there Now we're gonna be using about two cups of cheese some mozzarella cheese and guys no, this is not freshly, you know, grated mozzarella, but we are using a good brand of mozzarella cheese. We are using Sargento. If you use, you know, these off-brand store brand mozzarella cheese, you is not going to get that nice cheesy pool that you're looking for. So I recommend pay the extra couple bucks and get that good old cheese, guys. And from there, we went ahead and sprinkled on a little bit of Italian seasoning on this cheese as well because we want all that to kind of melt into the cheese and be oh so good, guys. And we are going to bake it for about 15 to 17 minutes on 400 degrees until it's nice and uh, golden brown. And while it's doing that, we're going to go ahead and melt up half a stick of unsalted butter. And uh, to that, we're going to add about a tablespoon of minced garlic. We're gonna sprinkle in a little bit of Italian seasoning and a little bit of salt as well. And you can kind of taste it, you know, to see how you like it. If you wanna add a little bit more salt, you can. That's the beauty of using unsalted butter because you can kind of control the saltiness. Nothing gets out of control. Um, but like I said, this little garlic butter sauce, we're gonna actually, you know, brush this onto our pizza once it comes out to the oven and it is gonna elevate it <laughs> and add so much goodness to that cheesy bread i'm trying to tell you and look at the beautiful color that we have on this pizza my goodness does that look amazing or does that look amazing guys <laughs> so like i said we're gonna grab our brush and we're gonna layer on all that goodness on top of our bread just like so guys be generous don't be scared of the garlic butter let it fly and let it go i'm trying to tell you guys so much goodness in that garlic butter and once we're done layering off that garlic butter we're gonna go ahead and grab some grated parmesan cheese guys get that grated parmesan cheese and go ahead and sprinkle it generously on top guys just like so man oh Man, this ain't no little Caesars right here. Now nah, I mean, this is that. <laughs> this is that. This is that next level is. You know what I'm talking about? This is amazing, guys. So delicious. So I'm just gonna chop this up just like so into our nice little beautiful sticks. Look at this, man. Look at this. Look at this, guys. I'm trying to tell you guys, this is something just like takes nothing. It's so simple, but guys, trust and believe me. You could go to Domino's, you could go to Pizza Hut. Unless you go into like one of one of these little, you know, mom and pop, 
Now I mean New York style pizzas. You is not topping this right here. I'm trying to tell you because this is awesome, guys. This is so good, so amazing, and took nothing to make at all, guys. And I'm about to hit you with that cheesy pool, guys, because we got a whole lot of cheesy pool. Remember, we used a whole lot of that good cheese, and that's what I talk about when you use that good cheese. You're going to have that good pool, guys. Look at that. Look at that, guys. And when I tell you this is banging, trust and believe me, guys. Pair it up with your favorite marinara sauce and get to dipping, guys. Go ahead and dunk it in and enjoy, guys. This is off the hook, off the hinges. And I hope you guys try it out because I know you're going to love it. I will see you on the next one, guys. Deuces.